Hi everybody, welcome to Playing Games, and today I'm going to open a very special deck of cards. Please make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. These videos are made possible by you, and a little bit by me. If you like playing card games, you've probably bought several decks of cards. Undoubtedly, you have a few that are more special than others. My favorite poker deck is this one. I got it on an Icelandic air flight, and I just love the cards. Like any well-loved deck, it gets worn out. You have to start taping the box first, and then inevitably a card goes missing. You have to turn the joker into, I don't know, a two. Now this isn't a promotional video. I have nothing to do with this company. But there I was on the internet looking at Pinterest and this deck popped up and I just thought it was so cool. It took some work to get it because it comes from Germany and they don't sell it here in the States. So I had it shipped to a family member in Europe and they graciously brought it over when they came to visit. And here it is. It's a standard French suited poker deck, 52 cards plus some jokers. What makes it special is it's a uh, branded deck for a beer company. They have a very uh, German theme because it's a German Italian style beer and I just love the cards so I want to show you this deck of cards today and we'll do a little unboxing and I'll go through what makes them special and please share your favorite deck of cards it's just fun to see the variety of card decks the important thing is to balance style with functionality so having a deck that looks great but it's just a mess uh, to play with is not a great deck and vice versa just a boring deck you know is good for poker but if you want to have something you return to and really enjoy playing with it's nice to have great artwork i think this deck balances those two things nicely so let's open it up and take a look at these cards that's the brand forced i've had the forced beer here in the states i'm not sure i'm saying forced correctly forced maybe forced forced and so here's the company i'm guessing that's a queen of clovers, looks like a clover there, but it's hops for the beer. This is a special edition. There are 55 cards, so I'm assuming there are a few jokers. All right, there's the plastic. Whenever you get something that you really like and it's not too expensive, you should get two of them, right? Your favorite shirt, a favorite hat. You want one to rock and one to stock. That way you can wear one out and have one in the reserve. Or just keep one for resale if you think it's gonna be a cool limited edition item. But having two of something you love is always a good thing. Unless, of course, it's a romantic relationship. So this is your typical French suited poker deck. It's gonna have 52 cards. Our four suits are gonna be clubs, spades, hearts, diamonds, jack, queen, king. It should all be here. This is a novelty or decorative deck, so we'll take a look at the art. From what I've seen online, I think I'm gonna like this deck. All right, the ace, I'm assuming this is, yes, this is spades. It's cool, they have a little gold line through the spades here. All right, here we get to the court cards. We have a jack, a little stein there. We have this cute braided German queen here. And oh, look at this dapper dude, he's the king. All right, next we have ace of hearts and we have the leaves of the hops here, which form a heart. It's just on the ace though, in the, the middle of the ace card here. So the others have, uh, it looks like, normal heart here, but also with a gold line through it. I wonder if that's part of the logoing and enforced. All right, seven, eight, nine, ten court cards. Okay, we have, uh, look at this dude here. He's got the long hair and the little yodeling hat. All right, another princess here. She has long flowing hair. It's really nice. It's a, if you can see the, the way it's printed. The golds have a sort of metallic finish, which is really nice. Here's our king. He's sort of like a Viking here. He's got the beer in hand with the logoing, the three trees. I don't know if he's uh, in deep thought here or maybe he's had one too many. Uh, he's got the sword there. It's not going through his head. This is not your typical suicide king. Ah, here we go, the Ace of Clubs, that's clever. That's, uh, it looks like three wooden kegs there. It's in green, even though it's a black suit. We go back to the black with the gold stroke along it. Nice design, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and now here we go, okay. Here's our Jack, he's maybe the brewmaster here. He's got a nice dark lager. Then we have the Queen, she's got a shorter haircut. Um, she's holding some leaves. Nice red sweater there with the logo as the necklace drinking out of a fancy cup. And here's the king. He has a beer stein and he's finishing it off while he's doing some paperwork there. Nice like little details here like this inkwell here. Very nice. All right, finally we get to the ace of diamonds. The diamonds have a sort of rune-like or patterned, intricately detailed info inside the diamond. That's nice. And then same thing, we have a gold line through this suit as well. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, here's our jack. 
he also looks like a brewmaster. He's got an apron on with the forced logo. Here's our queen. Oh, she looks happy, showing off her new beer, a dark beer. Also, like, really great, the greens here and the reds. They're printed very nicely. I like the little forest behind them. And here's our king of diamonds. So I'm guessing this is Saint Arnold. He clearly has the halo over his head, indicating he's a saint. He's the patron saint of beer in the Catholic Church. There's a little bit of a similarity. He has a pointy beard. Um, not the red hair, but he has the red cardinal's attire there. Now, Saint Arnold, the patron saint of beer, was actually not German, he was French. And as the story goes, there was an outbreak of disease in his town, and he suggested that the villagers drink beer because the pathogens were killed in the beer making process. And his advice for the villagers to drink beer rather than water saved a lot of lives in town, and he's well remembered for that. So uh, it's nice to see a king on a card for a beer company be the, the patron saint of beer, Saint Arnold, and I think that's who we have here. I don't think I know enough about German culture or beer culture to tell you who each of these people are on the court cards. But if you think you know who these characters are, please drop a comment, let me know. I'd, I'd love to find out who's on my uh, German deck of beer drinking cards. And last but not least, we have the Jokers. I believe these are the mascots of the Forced Beer Company. We have a fox here. Um, one, he's got his nose down in the froth of the beer. Another one, he's tipping the beer glass upon his nose. And finally, we just have a picture of a forced beer. Again, this company's not sponsoring this video, I just like this deck of cards, but if they wanna send me cases of beer, let me know, just drop, drop me a message. I'll give you my address, thanks. Let me just pull out the face cards because I think they have the best artwork. So those are all the face cards. I think the art's great. Um, I hope you enjoy seeing a deck of cards you might not find in a store here, at least in America. If you're like me and you love the artwork on cards and just owning cool decks, I hope this was enjoyable for you. I'd love to see some of your favorites as well. Also, let me know if you enjoy seeing uh, unboxing of cards. I don't know if it's fun to watch somebody else open a deck of cards that you can't actually play with because they're not yours. But if it is fun, let me know and I'll do this more. Thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you next time on Playing Games. <laughs>